can't believe I'm doing this. Hello, this is Corey the Keyblade Wilder and 2. And if you read the title, yes. I'm making a fan commentary of this crossover war made by a Pooh's Adventures creator named Daniel Esposito. And the reason why is because I feel like everyone's giving him a hard time, and yeah, I know his Pooh's Adventure stories are cringe, but... I just thought I'd get this over with so everyone can... If anyone would see this as cringe, also just like Fattest Caddis does, I mean, I just don't care for Pokemon that much. Or you could say that he should make more crossover wars other than Pooh's Adventures, which I don't blame you, so... This one is Ash and Friends vs. Disney Villains Round 1, or as it'll be known as, Pokemon Heroes vs. Disney and Non-Disney Villains Round 1. So, let's start off. We see Mewtwo vs. Jafar. Jafar has heard about a Pokemon that can help him conquer the world. I guess he wants to go big. And I don't care much of the description, I just thought I got to get this over with. Well, I guess he has... Wait, if you have the genie, why you need Mewtwo? Or do you just think... And I guess he just wants more power, I guess. Let's see what battle music he's using. Star Wars! Yeah, I like Star Wars. Uh, I'm not a diehard fan, but I do like Star Wars, but my dad is a complete nerd of Star Wars. I even gave him that, cu that cup, like a to-go cup or whatever it is, like a very long one. And it has like a, a, the Mandalorian on it. Oh, Jafar is now a genie. Oh, I guess that Mewtwo character just destroyed the lamp. Are they in a volcano? Or are their battles so tough they just rip the part of the Earth ground and it reels like lava or something? Kind of like in Return of Jafar, in a way. And Mewtwo wins. Next, like, Pikachu versus Professor Radican. I guess Pikachu is lost in London and now he's confronted by Radican. I know Pokemon is big, but I just don't care for it. And if you guys know what I'm rooting for, it's the villains. You guys can call me a big prick all you want, I don't care, I just root for the villains. I guess he electrified him, and poor Radigan. Next fight, a... Uh, uh, dragon thing, whatever it is. Charizard versus Maleficent. Yeah, Maleficent arrives in Viridian City and demands to be queen. Wait, Charizard? Or... Elisa does not like this idea. I think it sounds familiar. No. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the least, uh, I guess. Or the least. I don't care for Pokemon, you know, and I don't care about who, if I got their names right or not. Ah, uh, that Charizard, yeah, that dragon with a flame tail. I guess at the same time it does kind of make sense. A dragon fight.
Look, I don't care if it's not that Pokemon Dragon is not a dragon. It technically is a dragon. It flames from the mouth. It has wings. It's a dragon. A Pokemon Dragon. And Charizard wins. Next fight, Hades versus Ash. Uh, oh, Brock versus Hades. As Ash and his friends search for Ash's mom, huh? They are confronted by the god of the underworld, none other than Hades. But Brock decides he'll fight him off. Blah, 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 get over with. We got that bat Pokemon, whatever. I'm rooting for Hades on this one. <laughs> and there's the Titans. I guess it's not powerful enough, I guess. No, oh, it's just the Rock Titan, I guess. Big Rock versus Big Rock. I'm still rooting for the Hades and the Titan, Rock Titan. I'm feeling as frustrated as you, Hades. Because he went all the way down to the underworld. Next like Misty versus Ursula. Still looking for Ash's mom. Where is she going to? Kentucky? But looks like Misty will have to fight Ursula. Again, I'm still rooting for the villains, and it's Ursula I'm rooting for. I guess she can breathe, I guess. Guess she just wants a fair fight. <sighs> Come on, Ursula. She so use that sea creature Pokemon... Uh, the fishy Pokemon or whatever. Misty wins. And now Ash versus Dr. Fastelier. Friends on the other side. And Ash founds where his mom's at. It's... Hmm. Is that a painting? So it turns out Fastidia wants Ash's mom to be his maid. Like, wait, what? Kind of weird. Uh, dude, what do you need a maid for? Come on, Fasolie! Wait, why are the friends all of a sudden going against him? But wouldn't you just show the editing of Ash 
or Pikachu smashing that talisman of his, that would have been make more sense to why the friends are all of a sudden are against him. Uh, Nash wins. Oh, I guess this is the end. Uh, whatever. So, right now, this is officially the Pokemon Heroes versus Disney and non Disney villains. Or, as this title is, Ash and Friends versus Disney villains. Which is the only title that it's going to be called in that video of his, of course. So, yeah. I'm going to have to do a fan commentary on this stuff. Just so you guys could probably have a different views on him and not give him a hard time or something. I just want to be on the Villains Torments community side. Okay. I don't hate Daniel Esposito. I don't. But I just don't like his Food Adventure stuff. Ugh. Yeah, let's see you guys until the next part.